Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Monty at the Polka Dot Pinecone. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Um, I have just a couple small things to share with you today. Um, I put together another um, set of the uh, Shaker Bows. This is the sh Shaker Bow Set 1. This is from the October release. You're going to want this. There's two different sizes. Okay, um, I had already made some smaller ones that were shakers. This one, these ones, I did not make shakers, but what I did was make bag toppers out of them. So I just clipped it on with this, and so here's my bag topper. So I just, um, you know, put the die, lined it up on the, on the fold of some paper, and then once you fold it with just the white, then cut it out again with whatever patterns, papers and stuff you're gonna put on top that you wanna see. And then that way it just opens up like that. Okay, so I have, this is the, actually the big bow back here, and this is the little bow that I layered on top. And then I also have the shaker outline, but I didn't make it a shaker. And then this is a poinsettia that I put together from um, Erica's poinsettia um, set from last Christmas. I love this. So I just thought that turned out real cute. I went ahead and just made some cute little like policy envelopes. I just, you know, folded them in thirds and then put, the, uh, turn the bottom up, just decorated it very lightly. I'm using this cute little paper and then I can put a tag in there, or a gift card or, you know, whatever. And then I just clip this on the top and I think it, they turned out so cute. So I did that one and then this one is kind of um, a little bit opposite in colors but still the same thing. Everything's basically the same. Okay, and then you just take it off. Boop. These make a cute bag topper because they're just like a great size. So just put that on my little policy envelope there and clip it on and voila. So just a small little project there, but I wanted to share it with you anyway. Okay. <clears throat> And then I was, um, yesterday in the mail, I received the Halloween paper um, from Scrap Diva, her very first um, paper line, which is gorgeous. Let me just kind of give you a quick look here. It's all in my bag, so it's all kind of messed up. But anyway, it's called Beautiful Night. And so I had to use it to make a project. And I also received yesterday that package, a couple more dies. Only one I got a chance to use so far is this one, which is called 3D Pumpkin Shaker Bag. Now this is also from the October release. I just didn't get receive it in my first package because they were out of some of the dies. So anyway, I got a chance now to use it. And I used the paper collection. And this is what I made. I think it turned out so cute. I did make mine a shaker. So I have a pretty little sequence back to the back there. I use some of this beautiful paper she has. I put the little tabs. It comes with these little, um, you know, like a uh, strap tab thing. So rather than using paper, um, I decided to go with the, this piece of ribbon. You know, it's wired, so it's, you know, it can, you can make it to where it stands up and stuff, so. I just kind of um, ruffled it up between the little um, thing there, just stuck it in, and then I put the second layer on and glued it down, and then glued it onto my bag. So I think it turned out really cute. And then I used um, some of the die cuts. These die cuts here were from last year's um, Halloween release. Um, but if you'll notice in the uh, paper collection, she's got a lot of these. Um, current and past um, designs of her dies that are in the paper. They're, you know, a, an element in the paper. So it turned out really cute. So I went ahead and used this one for part of the decoration. Back here is one of the double layer um, rosettes from October release. And then this is a piece of the, this is a foam sticker from her Beautiful Nights collection. And then I just put some other things on here. The Hocus Pocus, this is from one of the ephemera packs. So I think it turned out beautiful. It's a good size too. I don't know why that is. 
So, and then it also comes, um, not just the box, this, this uh, pumpkin like this, but it also comes with um, a face. So you can just make it the pumpkin without the face, but you get this face piece. So you could, I could have, if I wanted to, you know, put, cut a face and put it on top of there, or I could have, you know, cut some out of the pumpkin but what I decided to do was I used um, the circle dies from the essentials pack from Erica and I cut me out a circle and then I just layered this on top and I um, cut out the face and I made it a shaker all of it also so there's shaker in his eyes nose and mouth and just put some trim around him and then I used one of these whatever they're called um, can't remember what they're called. I think there's some kind of garment type pin for sewing. Um, but I just, I started to look at my little box of stuff. I was gonna clip it on. I saw the orange and I thought, oh, I'm gonna see if that will work. So I used one of these to, to clip this on. I just punched a hole with my crop dial and put a little jump ring and then I just attached this little clip to the jump ring. But I think then, so he just hangs off the side. So I think that turned out so cute. I, I did put him on this side cause I didn't wanna, you know, have another big huge thing right here next to the, next to the, um, you know, this little collage of stuff that I have here for decoration. So I didn't line the inside yet. I probably will, but for now I just um, got it all put together and I think it turned out gorgeous. So this would hold a lot of stuff. You could put a bunch of candy in there or I don't know, packs of hot chocolate, um, little goodies. I mean, it's it's very good size. So anyway, I think it turned out pretty cute and I love this. You can just make this by itself. So that is the last couple things I've made in the last day. So I'll be working on more. Um, so I didn't receive my regular design team package yet for November. So I don't have the samples to share with you yet. I don't have um, any examples to make to share with you. So um, as soon as I get my package, hopefully I'll get it. I didn't get it today, I already checked the mail. Um, so hopefully I'll get it tomorrow and I can start making some things. But I will, even though I don't have any things to show you yet, I will be on there on the, um, on my website not the website. I will be, I will do a video and do my links so you can um, go find the products if you decide to, um, to, to pick up anything. Even though I know I haven't given you any inspiration because I don't have the dyes yet. Um, but hopefully soon. Okay. So what I always do is stay up late for me on the, um, on the eve of the release so tomorrow will be the eve of the release and then I add in all the, you know, I add all the names and links for you guys so you can find them all easily. So anyway, um, hope you guys like this project. I think you would love to have the shaker bow in your stash. Not only can you make shakers, but just plain bows, bag toppers, you know, whatever you want to use them for. They're just, there's so many options. So. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.